This is a short introduction to the why, the what, and the how of digital industrial marketing for manufacturers. Hello, my name is Larry Dunville, and I am the president and owner of Digital Industrial Marketing. Over the last decade, I developed this program at my previous company, Dearborn Overhead Crane. With this program, we sold over $30 million of industrial products online. I have 40 years of industrial sales experience and over 10 years of digital industrial marketing experience while at Dearborn Crane. My educational background is from the University of Notre Dame and the Harvard Graduate School of Business. With our digital marketing program, we are able to increase our inquiry level from 50 inquiries per month to over 400 per month. While ramping up the inquiries, we reduce the cost per inquiry by 80%. The system also increased the quality of sales lead. We did this while eliminating a four-man field sales force and all the costs associated with it. I'm going to lead you through three questions to a basic understanding of the digital industrial marketing program. Number one, why should you want to do this? You certainly already have a web page. Number two, what exactly does digital industrial marketing do? And number three, how do we make this plan affordable? So let's get started. The most logical first question is why? Well, I have three things for you to consider, but it's really a single idea with three parts. Zmot, Google Search, and beefing up your website to be your star salesman. First, Zmot. Zmot stands for Zero Moment of Truth. It's the moment that a buyer discovers a need for a product. Zmot is not new, but it has become a critical concept. In the past, Zmot moments led to a telephone call and a visit from the sales rep. Now it leads to a buyer sitting at his computer and typing a generic product name into the Google search box. In less than a second, he gets thousands of possible answers. By the autumn of 2013, Google was providing over 155 billion, yes, billion, searches a month. The Google search box has taught us that information is only seconds away. The availability of relevant information at that zero moment of truth means that buyers will be visiting sellers' websites within seconds of discovering a need. They're hunting for relevant information and sizing up the seller without the seller even being aware he's being sized up. This leads to the third point, the website as your star salesman. This is a whole new ball game demanding much more prolific websites. The old days of pasting your brochures onto the screen of your website no longer cut it. This means that more and more buyers will be finding sellers and not sellers finding buyers. The seller's website must evolve into their letter of introduction, their resume, and their frontline sales force all in one. Your website must be your star salesman. If your website fails as your star salesman, you will fail to make the buyer's shortlist. The project will go out for bids and you won't even get a crack at it. Your website must provide a compelling reason for the buyer to click a request for quote button or to pick up the phone and give you a call. Okay, now for question number two, the what question. I'm sure you're thinking, how is this idea any different from what we're already doing on our website? At Digital Industrial Marketing, we do three things. First, we make findable industrial websites. Second, we make sticky industrial websites. And third, we build traffic that brings the eyeballs to industrial websites. First is findability. Google has two challenges to maintaining its dominance in the search engine business. First, they have to find the correct website, and second, they have to provide a rewarding experience to the searcher by providing them with good quality search material. To find appropriate online information, Google has specific rules for building websites. These rules provide a short form index card for Google about your website. If you don't follow the rules, Google's index card will be incomplete and Google will not be able to find you when someone searches for your product. The most important rule is to have plenty of content. Google knows that the only way to keep people using its search engine is to provide good quality answers to their questions, and that means good original content. The second point is making sticky websites. 
Stickiness is the ability to keep buyers at your website once Google delivers them to you. Through online testing, we get into the minds of the buyers. These tools allow us to know more about what the buyer is thinking than they do. Our tools reach into the buyer's subconscious mind. They track every click, every mouse movement, and every downloaded file. We make video recordings of up to 5,000 website visits per month. We design websites to be predictive and then review every click to determine the buyer's intentions. It's called predictive analytics. We run A-B tests on headlines, images, navigation, and button locations. We determine what will maximize web page stickiness. In other words, what makes buyers stick around longer? We then adjust the page and test again. Understand we don't decide what wins. The buyer's clicks tell us what works and what doesn't. These tests result in 30%, 150%, even 350% increases that never would have happened without testing. Here's a test of two headlines. Would it be helpful to know that headline A had a 23% conversion rate, while headline B had an 11% conversion rate? Let's take a look at how this small change has a stunning financial impact. Let's assume 100 clicks at a cost of $5 per click with a total cost of $500. Next, let's use the previous slide example of 11% conversion rate for the green box headline and 23% conversion rate for the orange box alternate headline. This means 11 clicks for the original headline versus 23 clicks for the new headline. Interesting, but not earth shaking yet. Now let's take the $500 and divide it by the number of clicks for each headline. $500 divided by 11 clicks or $45.45 for the first headline, while $500 divided by 23 clicks or $21.74 per inquiry for the second headline. That gives us $45 for the original headline versus $21 for the alternate headline. This is a savings of $23.72 per sales inquiry. Now here's where it really gets good. These are actual numbers from my previous company, Dearborn Crane. We were averaging about 400 quotes per month, or 4,800 per year. If you take the savings of $23.72 per inquiry times 4,800 inquiries, you get a savings of $113,856. But that's not all. In addition to the savings of $113,000, you now have 12 additional sales inquiries per month. Just for illustrative purposes, if you landed one in four quotes with an average of $50,000 per job landed, this would result in an additional sales of $150,000 per month. Of course, your hit rate and average sales size would be different. And remember, this is just for one single test. Lastly, number three, web traffic. After making the website, one, findable, and two, sticky, we set up digital advertising program called Pay Per Click. Digital advertising brings qualified buyers, buyers with an immediate need to your website. Pay Per Click advertising is accountable down to the individual click. It is the lowest cost way to find people that are trying to find you. Pay Per Click advertising is the tool that increased Dearborn's sales inquiries from 50 per month to 400 per month. Now, the last question, how much? Digital Industrial Marketing, LLC, is a co-op-like service company. In other words, a shared resource. Our services are available on a subscription basis to a limited number of like customers. Although all subscribers are industrial manufacturers of big-ticket goods, none will be competitors. We do this because all our subscribers must be willing to share marketing information for the concept to work. We developed a single digital marketing plan, appropriate to all our subscribers. Potential clients that do not fit the model are not accepted into the program. In other words, our program is affordable because we designed one program and we only recruit clients that fit this program. 
We don't randomly find clients and design a program to fit them. Any research discoveries on one subscriber's website are rolled out to all subscribers. Digital industrial marketing provides state-of-the-art web R&D that would be a financial stretch for any one of the subscribers to afford, but is affordable through membership in the group. So, that's it. This can be summarized into three points. Number one, Zmod and Google search box. This is the intersection of the zero moment of truth with 155 billion Google searches per month. This means that buyers are now finding sellers. Number two, the website must be our star salesman. Since buyers are finding sellers at the rate of over 200 million searches per hour, the company's website must be our most important salesman. Websites cannot be the old electronic brochure. They have to be a multimedia, digital, on-demand trade show. Your website has to be a virtual tour of your facilities with videos of recent installations and customer endorsements of your quality and performance. Number three, we don't know why people click, so we test. Frankly, we have no idea why people click, but we do have tools that can tell us what they clicked. It's just a matter of iterative testing and pay-per-click advertising. As with any brief introduction, we only hit the high points and left out many critical points. If you are interested, we welcome a chance to talk to you to show you what we have to offer. We would be glad to perform preliminary research to see if you fit into our program. Of course, all preliminary research is performed at no charge and is strictly confidential, and the research reports will be yours to keep.